हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न टू बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज बेसिस एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स दीज आर वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड नेसेसरी ऑल्सो टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज यूजिंग दीज बेसिस एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स वी विल बी एबल टू डू लॉन्ग मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिविजन स्क्वेयर्स एंड क्यूब्स इन सेकेंड्स सो लेट्स सी फर्स्ट वॉट इज अ बेस बेसिस आर numbers starting with 1 followed by any number of zeros i repeat that bases are those numbers which start with 1 and a single one and they are followed by any number of zeros so the starting number should be 1 and it should be followed by a zero that means the smallest base will be 10 and the other bases can be 100 1000 10000 1 lakh or any number of zeros can be put and all these numbers are called bases or you can also say 10 to the power n the power of tens can also be called as bases so the condition is that there should be only one one in the starting and it should be followed by zeros so all those numbers are called bases easy enough now let's say if i give you a number so what will you say this is a base or not definitely you will say this is not a base because it this one should be followed by only zeros there shouldn't be any other one in the in between so this is not a base if i say is this a base then again this is not a base because there are two ones there should be only one one so this is again is not a base if i say is this a base what will you say i think you have correct answered it correctly that it is again not a base because it is starting with 2 it should start with 1 only and what about this is it a base yes it is a base because it satisfies all the conditions of a number for a number to be a base like it is starting with 1 followed by zeros so this is a base now let's come to a second concept which is complements now what are complements let's first understand this and then we will see how to find out complements those two numbers which when added together results in the nearest base are called complements of each other that means whenever two numbers the addition of two numbers gives a base they are called complements for example 57 plus 43 is equal to 100 so 57 on adding 43 to it is resulting in a base 100 that means 57 and 43 are complements of each other you can also say 57 is a complement of 43 and 43 is a complement of 57 i hope you have understood once again i am going to tell you 57 is a complement of 43 and 43 is a complement of 57 because both of them are adding to give a base that is 100 right now let's take another example to understand it better if i ask you what is the complement of 64 now as you know that two numbers when added together if they are resulting in 100 then they are complements so 64 plus what will give you 100 it is very easy you can mentally do it right and the answer is 36 yes the answer is 36 now if i give you a little big number let's say 789 and you have to find out the complement of 789 then i think that also is very easy just you have to subtract 789 from 1000 and you will get mentally the answer is 211 so that was easy how to find out complements but what if i give you a number like this if you have to find out the complement of 9567293 
then definitely you will be able to find its complement but uh, uh, you have to do, do a long subtraction for that and which I think you won't be able to do it mentally you will take some time so now I am going to tell you one formula the first formula of Vedic mathematics by using which you can easily find out the complements which are going to be of great help in doing big calculations so that formula one is all from 9 and last from 10 so let's first understand what's the meaning of this formula all from 9 and last from 10 means that if you have to find out the complement of any number let's say 3 4 6 you have to find out the complement of this number so all from 9 means all the numbers have to be subtracted from 9 and last from 10 means last number that is the last number is 6 that has to be subtracted from 10 so on subtraction we get 9 minus 3 is 6 9 minus 4 is 5 10 minus 6 is 4 so 6 5 4 is the complement of 346 and 346 is the complement of 6 5 4 so all from 9 and last from 10 suggest that if you have to find out the complement of any number just subtract all the numbers from 9's and the last number which is the units place number and in this case it is 6 that has to be subtracted from 10 and after subtraction the resulting number will be the complement of the given number right now let's say if you have to find out the complement of uh, 4 9 0 6 3 this big number right then how what will you do subtracting all the numbers from 9 and the last number from 10 you will get 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 9 is 0 9 minus 0 is 9 9 minus 6 is 3 and 10 minus 3 is 7 so 50937 is the complement of 49063 and 49063 is the complement of 50937. So isn't it very easy instead of doing that long subtraction and which was very difficult to do mentally you just have to subtract all the numbers from 9s and last from 10 and subtracting from 9s and 10 is very simple. So if we have to find out the complement of a bigger number now I give you the long number uh, 8 3 7 6 2 4 9 3 right now what you will do 9 minus 8 gives you 1 9 minus 3 gives you 6 9 minus 7 gives you 2 9 minus 6 gives you 3 9 minus 2 gives you 7 9 minus 4 gives you 5 9 minus 9 gives you 0 and the last number 3 has to be subtracted from 10 don't forget to subtract it from 10 10 minus 3 gives you 7 so this big number is a complement of this number 8376 so you can do it mentally also after a little bit of practice you don't have to write the 9s and 10 on the top instead you can directly do the subtraction and find out the complement as if you already knew the answer so this is the way of uh, finding out the complement of any number by using the formula all from 9 and last from 10 but there is one modification which I want to tell you like if a number is ending with a 0 then what will you do 
let's say if it is 4 1 3 0 if you have to find out the complement of this number then how to do that what you will do you will put down 0 as it is in the answer and the last non zero digit that is 3 the number before the 0 it will become the last digit and it will be subtracted from 10 and the rest from 9 right so what you have to do 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 1 is 8 10 minus 3 is 7 and 0 will come down as it is so 5870 is the complement of 4130 and 4130 is the complement of 5870 so whenever a number is ending with a 0 it may be 10 20 30 zeros or any number of zeros you will put down all those zeros as it is and the digit before the 0 will become the last digit which will be subtracted from 10 and the rest of the numbers as before they will be subtracted from 9 so let's take one more example to understand it even clearer uh, let's say 5 uh, 9 2 7 0 0 so in this case 7 will be become the last digit and the rest of the numbers will be subtracted from 9 7 from 10 and the two zeros will come down as it is so the final answer will be 9 minus 5 is 4 9 minus 9 is 0 9 minus 2 is 7 10 minus 7 is 3 and the zeros will come down as it is so 407300 is the complement of 592700 right so you have found that finding out complements is so easy so before we go to further exercises first you have to practice on the worksheet the sums given in the worksheet to master this technique of finding out the complements and then in the following exercises we will see how to use these complements for doing long multiplications and in other applications so all the best friends goodbye till then till the next video